Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Today, we're taking a look at a rather unique form factor for a 4K webcam. It can also be used as a webcam for a small room setup as well, in addition to being a personal webcam device, the Jabra Panacast. The Panacast is aptly named for its 180 degree panoramic field of view capabilities, which if you're used to specking out webcams, you'll know that 180 degrees is a little more than generous. And now on to the fun part, taking a look at the device itself. The Jabra Panacast box, like the device, is not some huge cumbersome box. Uh, while the device is properly padded inside, this should give you an indication that right out the gate, this uh, device is not going to take up a lot of room or be a cumbersome thing to have set up in any place. Uh, they are really big on saving you space in real estate wherever you're uh, setting this device up. So we can see we have some information about the device up top. The lid lifts right off. Okay, and inside this is where we get a few quick links to get some setup help if we need it, get the free Jabra Direct app uh, that we can use for unlocking the full potential of the product, and then registering the Jabra Panicast as well. If we flip to the side, again, it reminds us to register our product, but this bottom uh, piece here just pulls right out. We've got a number of things tucked in here. Now the Panicast is sitting up in there and we'll get to that from the top. But right off the bat, we pull out a couple things here. A, this is a handy little card that you can use to kind of set up in the room. For example, if you're gonna be setting up the Jabra Panicast as a, a room solution or part of a room solution, um, this is a little foldable card stock that you can sit right in the room, right on the table, near the device, uh, letting people know how the Jabra Panicast can be used what intelligent zoom does. Flipping to the other side, it lets us know this is plug and play via USB. The other thing we set down was the USB-C portion, which will go into the Panacast itself. And then we've got our USB port uh, that will go into, or the USB plug that will go into our USB port on wherever we're plugging into. Finally, we've got our warnings and declarations. This is a very thick book, and we will be setting that off to the side. With the other pieces removed from the box, let's go ahead and take our little protective foam off there and pull the Panacast out of the box. As you can see, not only is this a very unique form factor, but it is not a large device. It fits in one hand very comfortably. It is very light. It can be mounted in a couple different ways with optional mounts. We've got these three different cameras all at the front that work together to give you that 180 degree field of view for 4K streaming capabilities. Looking at the bottom of the device, you'll notice we have this standard screw hole here for mounting the device to a stand. We can also raise this clip on the back or lower the clip, I should say. And you'll see that right here and as well as right here and on the inside is a grippy rubber material so that as you set this on a, la a laptop or monitor, it will sit there, grip the back of it, not slide around and not fall off. That is the way that you can use it as a personal device or even on a permanent monitor in a room. There is also another optional wall mount system that you can buy so that this thing can be mounted right onto that wall mount and sitting at the front of a room, uh, neatly underneath the TV or above a TV, wherever it may uh, fit best for the type of room that you're setting it up in. Taking a quick look at the back of the device, this is not very complicated. We've got our USB-C port right there. That is where we plug the cable in that we saw earlier. Uh, that USB-C will then plug into, again, our laptop or the room system itself. And that gives us video, 180 degree panoramic field of view, 4K streaming capabilities uh, delivered right to whichever device we want it to be. Okay, check this out. We are using XSplit Broadcaster to record right now. We are recording using the Jabra Panacast, and that is why you see this full 180 degree field of view. This is a longer desk and it looks curved because we're getting that whole long angle wall to wall going on. You see the monitors on both sides of my laptop. It's pretty wild to have that wide of a field of view from right here point blank range. 
What we do not see on display here is the intelligent zoom capabilities. While recording an exploit, we have to pre-configure how the camera is going to be set up. So we've got zero zoom, no pan, no tilt. We get the default 180 degree view. The intelligent zoom goes and crops the image into just the speaker or the speakers in the room. Coming up, we'll get a look at those intelligent zoom capabilities as well as the Jabra Direct app for managing firmware and settings and the Jabra Vision app for managing your whiteboard capabilities. Okay, so we are looking at the Jabra Direct app here. Now this is a free app, you go to jabra.com slash direct, and this is used to update firmware for your devices, uh, pair different Bluetooth components together, uh, manage the settings for different devices as well. And as you can see, it picks up not just your Jabra devices, but it'll also uh, detect other headsets that you may have in your uh, connected to your device as well. I will note that you cannot manage these de devices from here, uh, but you, you see them here as being attached to your system. So we've got our Jabra Panic Cast as well as a Bluetooth dongle here for a headset. We'll go ahead and click on the Jabra Panic Cast. Uh, you'll notice that it says device ready for use. Uh, and then it will show you different soft phone options over here as well. You can go to the video settings. We'll go to that in a second. Or you can go to device. Now if we go to device, we see a number of things that we can do here. For our orientation, we can rotate this. We can invert it. All right, so rotates the video 180 degrees for when we need to uh, invert the orientation, right? Uh, the field of view, we can either have our 180 degree default here or we can actually chop this down so that it's not using that by default. Um, you've got intelligent zoom. So you have the instant which takes it and immediately crops the image to the detected uh, optimal facial area. But you can also turn this to natural and get a more uh, seamless transition or smooth transition I should say. We'll go ahead and leave it to instant for now. And then we got video mode. It says we've got two modes here, blend and carve. They recommend carve for when you are uh, indoor and blend for outdoor. So we're gonna leave it on carve since we're recording indoor. Uh, Vivid HDR turned on, line frequency, blue LED lights, you can turn that on or off, and then white LED lights, you can turn that on or off. And if we go over to our product information, you can see your firmware here, the serial number, uh, microphone, whether that's enabled or not, we have enabled that and uh, then it has a little certified for Teams option down here as well. Now we'll go to the video settings. This is where we control kind of the positioning of the camera, right? And you'll notice that the pan has no left, no right. The tilt has no up, no down, and the zoom is all the way out. So we're not zoomed in at all as our default position. If we go over to image quality, I'm not gonna touch any of this because I don't wanna mess any of that stuff up, right? But uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave all these settings here. You can adjust all these different picture color uh, settings if you need to. If we go to uh, click on our open preview window here, you'll notice that if you have the Vision app installed, it, it's an option in here as well. But we're looking at the Panicast right now and you see that it did just, it started out at that big 180 degree angle and then detected where we were, zoomed in, chopped in really quickly. So that is the intelligent zoom kicking into action, detecting where the speaker is and cutting out all the noise. Let's close this out. Let's go back to our device. And we are gonna say uh, the intelligent zoom will be natural. We will apply these settings. We go into the video settings and we will pop open the preview. And now notice when we pop it open, I want you to notice it starts out in 180 degrees and then it will have a different transition as it crops in. So here we go. There is our initial picture and it zoomed on in. It was a more fluid motion. It wasn't a direct cut in to the optimal view. So intelligent zoom, it's pretty quick. You're not sitting around waiting for it to kick into action. You don't have someone leave the room and three minutes later it randomly decides to kick in. Nice, fluid, quick, simple, if we go back out to the main menu here, you'll see if you need an update out here, but we can also go to updates, 
get a view of all the devices that is detected and you can see there they have check marks they're up to date you can say check for updates and it'll make sure that no new ones have come through you can update your job or direct software as well if you have the bluetooth uh, devices connected you can pair different components there and going over to our settings is where we can allow notifications from this app we can enable the job or direct in our system tray You've got your soft phone integration right down here that you can choose from and, and the present synchronization as well. And then you have a section for feedback and of course getting help if you need that. But that is managing your Jabra Panacast in the Jabra Direct app. Okay, so check this out. We have the Jabra Vision app up. And if you're thinking, oh, why is the video so choppy? It's because we're not recording directly from the Panacast into the XSplit video here. We're capturing the screen with XSplit that has the Jabra Vision app up. The Vision app allows us to manage the Jabra whiteboard capabilities. So that's what this app is. It is the Jabra Vision app, free download, so that you can manage the whiteboarding. Now, the idea here is that you've got an actual physical whiteboard in the room, and you want to capture the content of that and bring it into the digital workspace so that it can be uh, worked on there to win meetings, etc. Um, a couple of these options down here, you'll notice you can do HQ whiteboard, high quality whiteboard only. You can do the video plus whiteboard. And then a couple other things to uh, do, uh, work with the camera here as well. I'm not going to go ahead, uh, demo the whiteboard because I simply don't have a whiteboard here to demo this capability with. But just know if you've got a physical whiteboard and you wanna bring it into the video, uh, that's what this is for. This allows you to manage that experience. Um, when you actually click on one of these things, it will pull up the whiteboard app. It'll ask you to select where the whiteboard is on the screen, and then it will use its intelligence to capture the whiteboard and, uh, and, and bring it into the, uh, the video. Now, if we turn on our advanced intelligent zoom, which is what this little spy glass icon is, boom, it does the intelligent zoom, figures out where the person is, and crops right on into them. We can turn this off. And if we bring our pan tilt zoom up, we can zoom in a bit. We can go all the way over, we'll pan. We see our uh, screen over on this side. We scroll all the way to the other side. We got the other screen. Uh, we click back to home and it takes us right back to the starting position. And then of course there are some PTZ presets that you can set up here as well. If we do our color controls, I'm not going to mess with these because again, that's just asking for trouble in my opinion if you don't know what you're doing and I definitely do not. And then clicking on the settings. This is where we can say, look, uh, we want to open the application on startup. So the job revision app will start. When closed, minimize windows to notification area. You can load your previous video position. You can hide the job revision camera when application is not running. And then for the whiteboard portion of it, you can launch whiteboard at application start, which is not checked by default. And then we have notify me when camera mode is enabled. Uh, the location for the application is right there. And then the intelligent zoom capabilities, we are enabling advanced intelligent zoom. And we have also said that it can show boxes on faces here. So pretty cool stuff. That's our settings. That is the job revision app. Uh, dig into that with your own whiteboards. Pretty cool stuff. Our team has done a phenomenal job with giving you a ton of resources to look at when you're evaluating this device and deciding whether or not to buy it. Uh, some of this stuff is sales pitchy, so we're going to scroll over that stuff. You've got this, you know, um, brief little talking points at the top. There's some spots where we talk about uh, customer testimonials. We're going to skip over that too. First thing I want to point out, though, is that they point out they work with all the major players, and they highlight up here. Microsoft Teams and Zoom. They're certified for both. But going beyond those two, you've got all these different platforms. You've got Cisco in there, BlueJeans, Slack. Going a little bit beyond that, they give us an example of why this panoramic 4K uh, 180 degree field of view is such a big deal. Take a look at the room on the right. You've got this field of view that only goes up to the 120 degree. I mean, that's a pretty good field of view. But because it's 120 degrees, you have to have the camera back away from the participants because you will cut out the people on the very edge. It's not able to capture them. 
Coming over to the left, you see with the Panacast, you can have that table flush to a wall where a Panacast is mounted, chairs all the way up to the wall, and everybody in that field of view is included. That's a pretty powerful thing, especially when you're really tight on room space. Uh, intelligent zoom. Now this is called many things for other projects, uh, products, right? You've got different cameras that call it people framing, smart framing. Uh, the idea is the camera uses intelligence to detect the number of people in the room by faces. And if you've got multiple people, it will frame out and zoom in to capture that right amount of people. If someone leaves the room, it'll zoom on in to capture the smaller group of people. Uh, down here, we get a really cool example of that. You've got these three people in the room. You can see how it's kind of eyeing them up with these little uh, yellow right angles around their face. And right now we've got a number of people in the room. Let's say we drop a person in the room. It will frame out that person and just scope into only those two. We go down to one, back in there. Now let's say the other two people come back into the room. That's the way it will behave. Um, they also strongly suggest that to get the a more full featured premium experience in a small space, right? A small room, huddle room experience, if you will. Maybe you pair it up with one of their speaker phones. Uh, they call it the Jabra 750 here. We've got the 710, so we'll show you what that looks like uh, with our setup. Next up, they show you a number of ways that you can use the plug and play capabilities of this device to go with just a simple plug and play with your laptop and you can either plug the device right into the laptop or use some sort of hub dock like you see here where you've got all your peripherals plugged into the hub, the hub plugged right into the, uh, the laptop with USB-C. Or we can make it part of your meeting room solution, right? And you've got the compute for your meeting room with that center of room touchscreen. Maybe this is a Logitech Tap or some other vendors uh, one touch, uh, the touch interface in the center of the room. Uh, you can use it in that regard with the Panacast sitting down here. If you're concerned about network bandwidth and you're gonna be deploying a lot of these, one thing they call out here is that it does not take any more than the normal uh, amount of bandwidth that's uh, required for 1080p streaming, even with the 180 degree field of view. Come down here, you've got this job revision app. Uh, I have downloaded that, we'll go over that in a second, but this allows you to manage and share your whiteboard content in any virtual meeting. Finally, they wanna make sure that you understand how much space you can be saving with these things. So because of the 180 degree field of view, you can have that device right at the end of the table with all participants around the table included. Yeah, if, if you were in a room that had a lesser field of view, that camera would be out to the left and you would use up some of this floor space right here. So it tells you how much real estate you're actually saving by having a camera that captures at 180 degrees. And there you go. That was the Jabra Panacast video solution, 4K streaming capabilities, 180 degree field of view with intelligent zoom. As was mentioned in the video, Jabra recommends that you pair the Panacast with one of their speaker phones. We got the 710 sitting right here. They also recommend the 750 and you can plug them directly into the laptop or you can use a hub like we're using right back there. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Please share it all over social media if you did. And if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, I don't know why not. There is a very handy little subscribe link in the bottom right hand corner of the video. Please subscribe and I hope that we'll see you back here for the next product overview video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.